I want to address quickly pooled security models and shared security models. This is a hot topic in the infrastructure world right now. Um, uh, and so most blockchains are one database. At the end of the day, it's a database. And that database has only a certain finite capacity of throughput. When more is going through that database than it can handle, more is going through that pipe than it can handle, you need to have some sort of gating mechanism. That gating mechanism are fees, gas fees. Um, and so if you want to move to the front of the line, you can pay more. Well, imagine if you weren't capacity constrained. constrained. So in the world of scale, as an example, um, there are many, many chains all working together. And scale is built on Ethereum. And these numerous chains are able to increase capacity while being able to keep those surge fees lower or non-existent at the user level. OK, so when you look at app chain models, this is another more advanced topic. But security, if you see the security in the layer one blockchain, there's one database, one set of validators, or one set of miners, and one blockchain. Okay. App chains often have many small app chains and many small security pools. What that means is the security is weaker if there's less participants in that section. All right. Um, now, the goal is to have many of multi-chain models or modular models or app chain models is to have many unique smaller chains, but one shared or uh, pooled security set. OK, so this is, for example, how scale functions scale also shares security with Ethereum. So do other protocols. This is a new topic. If you're following blockchain infrastructure, uh, do some research on shared security. Um, in the case of scale, there's a stake in the scale network that goes on the Ethereum mainnet. So the Ethereum mainnet validation secures the scale network at a root foundational level. So, um, but then at the end of the day, these chains are running with one unified validator set for scale. But these validator, this validator set has these bifurcated groups. And so what you end up getting is you don't share security. Uh, you share security, but you don't share performance. Okay? When you share performance, when you share capacity, then bad things can happen. Um, now, uh, uh, one of the issues with having smaller security sets are collusion and um, different types of attacks. And so pooled models leverage kind of this herd dynamic where you have many, many validator operators and using lots of fancy mathematics and cryptography, being able to pull them into these sets together and rotate them. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to make small groups that are powerful, but they're a piece of a larger group that are strong. Okay? Small groups are agile and fast. The bigger group is secure and has very strong defense.